everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the features that a student may see when they're using their Moodle page. This is hopefully going to be a very helpful video for someone who doesn't use Moodle very often or for someone who hasn't used Moodle at all. So that's why we're going to start from the beginning and I'm going to show you how you can access Moodle. So as you can see, I'm here on the wagner.edu website and if I want to access Moodle, I can click quick links here at the top and from the drop down menu, choose Moodle. As you can see, I input my username here, and your username and password is going to be the same exact credentials as you would use to access your email without the at wagner.edu. So notice that I do not have at wagner.edu in my username, I just have my first name dot last name. For my password, it's going to be exactly what I use to access my email, also known as the all access pass. I'm now logged in as somebody who has student access. This is the main page that you'll see when you log in. On the left hand side, this is called the navigation menu and this is where you're going to access the courses that you're currently enrolled in. So for right now, we're going to choose the course we're enrolled in. But another way that you can access your courses is by clicking on the dashboard. So right now, if we're in the dashboard, we're going to filter by the in progress classes and this is going to show us all the classes that we are currently taking. Right now, I just want to access the course like I did before from the navigation menu, but it's good to know that the dashboard is there as an option for you to filter your classes. So right now we're looking at our Moodle course and you can see that there's some content on here. Some of the things I want to show you in this video is how you can connect with different resources and how you can interact with them if it's an assignment. So if you're looking at a syllabus, for example, here, and the professor posts that, in order for you to click on that, you just have to simply click on the post that they give you and that will then open up whatever the professor has loaded onto here for you. Now in my case, my computer automatically downloads files to my downloads folder. You can see the little blue arrow up here has turned blue and that means something has been downloaded directly into my downloads folder. So if I click on that little down button and I click on the little magnifying glass, it'll find it on my computer and then I can simply click on it and it'll open it up in Word for me. The same thing goes when you're trying to access PDF files and you can see what kind of file they are by looking at the little icon that's next to it. Something your professor might ask you to do in your Moodle course is to interact with a forum. A forum is a way for you to communicate with your classmates and your professor by sharing ideas and sometimes attachments. In this particular course, there are two forums that are set up, so we're going to click on the first one here, and the professor is asking us to tell them a little bit about ourselves by sharing a favorite family memory. Now, in this particular forum, if you want to contribute to it, you could click Add a New Discussion Topic, and then write the subject and the message in terms of your answer. Then you would click Post to Forum, and it would post it to the forum for this activity. Now if you wanted to include an attachment, it's important to know you can click on Advanced and that will give you a box for you to either drag and drop your file here or click on this little thing called the File Picker which allows you to upload a file by browsing your computer. The other kind of forum that your teacher may use is the one in this example here. If you click on it, it just tells you the question right away and you can reply directly to whatever the professor or another fellow student has said by clicking on reply and writing the answer that way. So if the professor has asked to share a little bit about ourselves, we can click on reply and you'll see that that reply will show up in line right on the page. We can start typing and if we wanted to add an attachment, we can simply click advanced again and that will open up another page where you can then continue writing your memory or whatever you're going to be contributing and your attachment here. And you can do the attachment the same way as you did in the other forum, which is drag and drop or choose the file picker. Now oftentimes, professors may ask you to upload papers or upload files of some sort. In this example, if we click on focus paper number one, the professor has asked to submit a two-page paper for our focus paper. Now the professor is going to set this up on their end, so all you have to do as the student is to click Add Submission, and then again, just like in the forum, you can drag and drop your attachment here, or you can click on the file picker here and browse your computer. Once you have added the file into the assignment that they've created for you, you click Save Changes and that will upload the assignment for you for your teacher to see. The next feature that I want to show you that you might encounter is a quiz. Sometimes professors will upload questions onto Moodle, create a quiz, and you'll be expected to answer the questions on that quiz and submit the attempt. 
So I have a quiz here that all you need to do as the student is click on that link. It'll take you directly to the quiz. In this case, there are no directions, but a professor will oftentimes give directions for you in terms of maybe how much time you have, what you're going to have to do, or what they expect of you. In this case, there isn't that. So all we would do is click Attempt Quiz Now. Then we can just go and take the quiz. In this case, there's only one question that we would take. We would click Finish Attempt, and then it's going to make sure that we're sure that this attempt is finished. If not, you can click Return to Attempt. If so, you click Submit All and Finish, and that will then submit this quiz to your professor. The last thing I want to show you for this video is how you can access your grades. Now if your professor has allowed you to see them, you can see your grades by clicking here on the navigation menu on the left hand side, click grades and that will take you to just your grades so you could see how you're doing, what you've gotten. If they have decided to share it with you, you can see what your grade has been. So for these there are no grades yet, but for these particular quizzes there have been grades that are given out. You could see what your course total is so far or how you're doing in a particular category. Now keep in mind this is not an overall look at the entire semester so it's only going to calculate what you have done so far. So if by any chance it looks low to you or if it looks wrong to you it could just be that because it is at a certain point in the semester where not everything has been submitted yet. So don't get nervous if you have a question about a grade you can always ask your professor to explain it to you. So that's it for this video. Basically, it was just supposed to give you an idea of some of the most commonly used features by professors on Moodle. This way, if by any chance you have to start using Moodle more, you'll be more familiar when you see these things rather than just going into it without having seen it before.